I have such a reverence for country music, the ones that really touched me as a kid, the Merle Haggards, the Buck Owens, the George Jones, Keith Whitley, people that just truly believed in what they were singing about. There's very few things I know of that you can sit down and build and create that can bring tears, joy, healing. You can really change somebody's life with one song. I'm Mo Pitney. Music is my passion. You know, inspiration for a song can come from absolutely anywhere, anywhere you're at. I try to look for original ideas. I think just letting myself sit back and listen to my own heart and myself is what's helped me create what I do. Now, I have written songs on stoplights. I've written a lot of songs jumping up in the middle of the night. You'll think of a line, or you'll think of a title, and I'll write it down on a notepad, or on a receipt, or on my phone. Any way to write it down until you get in an area where you're ready to write a song. And as a songwriter, you'll sit back and say, what made that happen? What was that emotion? How can I put that into a song? But when you feel that inspiration, use it. When I dove into writing, that just consumed my mind. When I realized I could do it, I wanted to master it. When I first really picked up an instrument, somebody bought me for Christmas a Johnny Cash live album. I, I just sat there one night, turned it on about 9 o'clock at night, and I played till 4 in the morning. The next morning, I woke my dad up at 6, and I thought I was a genius because I was going. And I was just head over heels. I was like, I, I can't believe I learned this on my own, you know? Most of everything that I learned was just sitting down in front of a, an actual record or a CD and just learn. Let me tell you about country. I was moved by music before I played music or sang music. When I was really young, Mom always said that even a baby before you could talk, if your grandma was rocking you to sleep and she'd sing Home, Home on the Range, you'd just start bawling your eyes out. <laughs> Family is a big part of what I do and very important to me. We've traveled and played music our whole life. We stick together, you know. And I think family and faith, in my family anyways, goes hand in hand. But my talent and my songwriting and my singing and anything I do, I really got to give the glory to God, my personal Savior, Jesus. It's a talent that he gave me that I tried to be a good steward of. I just pray that, that I present my music in a way that people see that. I love country music and that's what comes out of me through my years of studying music and being in love with music. Uh, I think of just guys that connected with the songs that they were singing. Guys like James Taylor and Randy Newman because they were connected with the music it translated to an audience. And I uh, kind of strive for that. Every song you write, that'll take something from you. And when somebody receives it and gains something from it and you see that, that starts filling that back in. That starts giving you more want and strength and inspiration to write more songs and to keep going. Come do a little life with me.